Tesla Autobeater is Tesla's cutting-edge AI software which manages energy storage projects. It is now so big that it is managing over 1.2 gigawatt hour of energy capacity according to a Tesla executive. Welcome back dear friends, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, welcome and please subscribe to our channel. Give us thumbs up and like this video, it will help to put this video in front of more people and also if you want to send us an applause, that would be greatly appreciated. Tesla Autobeater is described by Senior Vice President of Powertrain and Energy Engineering Drew Baglino as autopilot for grid tied batteries. The rather remarkable update was shared on LinkedIn by Rohan Ma, an energy veteran who worked at SolarCity before coming aboard Tesla in February 2017 as part of its energy products optimization team. While sharing recent reports about a massive battery project in Angleton, Texas, Ma noted that the Autobeater auto portfolio is operating over 1.2 gigawatt hour in 2021. Here is what Ma wrote on Twitter. Quote, with the Autobeater portfolio operating over 1.2 gigawatt hour in 2021, we are pumped to be launching in Texas this summer. Always interested to connect with people who have experience in air code. End of the quote. Then he shared a link to Bloomberg, which discusses Tesla's secretive megabuck project, which I covered last week, a few days ago, and will have the link of my coverage in the description of this video for your reference, if you haven't followed that news. With this in mind, it appears that the upcoming Angleton, Texas battery would also be using Autobeater. This is why they're looking for people for that. The same will likely be true for other high-profile Tesla energy projects in the United States, such as the Moss Landing Battery, which seems to be nearing completion. The Moss Landing Battery installation is massive, being a formidable 182.5 megawatt, uh, 730 megawatt hour system when fully complete. Uh, completed. That's very huge, friend. Now, during the previous earnings call, Tesla executive Drew Baglino noted that Autobeater is basically autopilot for grid type batteries, and it is a pivotal aspect of the company's strategy to ensure grid stability. Tesla CEO Elon Musk explained the nature of the system uh, further as well as its innate potential. Here is what he said. It's just grid stabilization at the most heightened level. So it just shows that things are super smooth. It's like a UPS, uninterruptible power supply of a normal size, but just ensure that this grid is smooth sailing. And then the batteries, the computers, like all interact with each other and make sure that they are working together to make the grid smooth. And this can be done with the power walls and the mega packs and the power packs, all working together and interacting with third party systems as well, Musk said. Autobeater is arguably one of Tesla's most underrated products with its use of machine learning to manage energy projects writes Simon Alvarez at Tesla Radi. He points out that as per Autobeater's official page, the system's algorithms are capable of performing various functionalities, including price forecasting, load forecasting, generation forecasting, dispatch optimization, and smart bidding. Autobeater or Autobeater is currently being used in the Hornsdale Power Reserve, where it has helped drive down energy costs through market bidding. Speaking of helping, can Autobeater and Tesla also help Texas? You know, our neighbors in Texas got hit hurt by, uh, hard by the recent unexpected Arctic blast. Some folks, uh, are still trying to repair water damage from pipes that burst in the freeze, uh, clean technical reports. Public reactions divided along predictable lines, 
Governor Greg Abbott blamed frozen wind turbines for the massive power outages, but by most accounts, uh, weather-related breakdowns at natural gas pipelines and other fossil fuel infrastructure played a big role in the debacle, uh, writes Clean Technica. One thing everyone should be able to agree on, however, the weather-related disaster was an embarrassing fiasco that shouldn't have happened in the technologically advanced country. Um, somehow wind farms in places like Germany, Norway and Greenland are able to keep running through the winter. So something like this, some people think shouldn't have happened in the United States. But you know, things happen, things break. Uh, Texas is a warm uh, uh, state. It's safe to assume that there has been some changes made and that the next cold snap will find the Lone Star State Texas better prepared, especially now that Tesla is working on that mega pack project in Angleton. Charles Morris writes in Clean Technica that one important infrastructure improvement will be a major expansion in battery storage. So it seems supremely serendipitous that Tesla, one of the leading purveyors of stationary batteries, at all three levels, residential, commercial, and utility scale, is boosting its presence in Texas. See, for example, the Austin, uh, Texas Giga Factory or Terra Factory, Starbase, and the newest Texan um, uh, inter in in inventions or uh, undertakings of Elon Musk. Stationary storage enables utilities to better balance supply and demand and to make the grid more resilient whatever energy sources is being used. And local distributed storage gives individuals and businesses a backup plan for when the grid grows down, goes down. During the debacle, homeowners who had Tesla power walls were able to keep the lights and uh, the heat on while their neighbors' houses were dark. Now, Bloomberg, like I said a week ago, has reported that a Tesla subsidiary called Gambit Energy Storage is quietly working on a massive energy storage project in Angleton near Houston. I said quietly because it's rather secretive. And like I said, you can find the link in the description of this video from Torque News. This new storage site, which is adjacent to a Texas, New Mexico power substation, is expected to have a capacity of 100 megawatts, enough to power about 20,000 homes and should go into operation this June. This is the undertaking about what Ma uh, uh, linked in his uh, uh, in his LinkedIn. The new storage site is registered with the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, ERCOT. That's why they're looking for people for ERCOT experience. The organization that manages the state's interconnected electrical grid. According to Bloomberg, projects representing some 2,100 megawatts of battery storage are in the process of getting hooked up uh, to the Texas grid. Hopefully, this will enable ERCOT to reclaim the R that it forfeited in the recent collapse. Elon Musk wasn't the only one to point out the irony, by the way. In the past, Tesla has trumpeted some of its broad, um, Brodingenian battery builds, like the one in South Australia, which was launched in 2017 after a colorful tweet exchange among Musk and several down under uh, power brokers, uh, reports Clean Technica saying, however, for whatever reason, the company appears to have kept the Texas project mostly under wraps. At the site, white sheets can concealed um, what appear to be Tesla Megapacks, and a worker told inquisitive journalists that it was a secretive project. Bloomberg had to do a little digging to confirm that Tesla is indeed behind the venue. And now you can see Tesla executive sharing something on LinkedIn with the capacity of AutoBeater with the link to Bloomberg report. The Gambit project was originally developed by San Francisco-based renewable energy specialist Plus Power, Scott Albert, Angleton's former city manager, told Bloomberg that it's obvious that Plus Power is working with Tesla. Friends, it may be that, like any company that's planning a major move, 
Tesla doesn't want to the, want the world to know the extent of Texas size plans for fear of driving up property prices. That can be a reason. Here's a quote. Elon Musk has a lot of activity in Texas right now, said Albert. It wouldn't surprise me if Musk is thinking about starting his own power company. Who knows? We'll see. But right now, power projects in Texas are growing by Tesla. And Tesla Auto Beater has this huge capacity, which I just reported. And this is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. Give us thumbs up. Like this video. It will help to put in front of more people per YouTube. And also, if you would like to support our channel, please give us an upload, uh, which you will see next to the like button in this report. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. And see you soon.